Hey YouTube, Ralph here with Ralph's Automotive. This is going to be my first video. This is going to be about how to build a homemade pressure transducer for your automotive enthusiast that so happen to have a automotive oscilloscope. I got this one started. I will explain later. The items we need is obviously the pressure transducer. This is a 300 PSI. We're going to need some battery caps. Got the bulk of these on eBay. I got all these parts on eBay. The battery clips, they were $4, I think, for 50 The pressure transducers range, I think, from $20 to $25. And these little units, those are step-down modules. The input, I believe, anywhere from... 6 to 12 volts or something like that, but they have a 5 volt output and that's what you're going to have to have on these pressure transducers. You want something that uh, produces 5 volts, no more. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Well, here is something. I'm going to show you this real quick. What I've used here is a standard video cable. So I've already made something like that up and, and we'll demonstrate it here and make sure this is actually working. So what I have done, this is a do-it-yourself BNC. I'm just using, just for demonstration purposes, I'm using like a speaker cable or whatever that was. It's got the white and black on the center pole. I got the solid white as a ground. So we can put this together if we want to. It does not matter. So this is the plug that comes with the transducer. This one is 100 PSI. The boards are labeled. They're labeled as outputs and inputs. Input obviously is going to be 9 volt block battery. Red and the black from these plugs are the positive in the ground. This blue wire is the actual feed to the scope. That wire will go to the center of the BNC. We'll just put that together. to be a real sloppy assembly. I've done this real, real quick. So bear with me here, guys. This I know that's not real pretty, but it, it will do what I'm telling you it will do. And for now, we're going to wrap us a little bit of electrical tape around it. switch this over. Here's a 300 PSI. No, actually I changed my mind. I'm not going to. 
we'll go ahead and use the 100 PSI. And take this apart real quick. This is it's just for demonstration purposes. Air fitting, battery, BNC, Pico, plug it in. I hope this will show up. And so I'm going to do a follow up on this. Okay, I've got this 100 PSI homemade. Okay, now line is at zero. Okay guys, I don't know if this is coming through. I don't know if you can see this. I'm sorry for the shaking. to get you focused on that. Okay, guys, I apologize about that crappy video, but we're at about 67.3 PSI. That's what the Pico is showing. And I have a Lyserin filled gauge on my regulator, and that is, in fact, what the regulator is set to. So, there you have it. Thanks for watching.